Hi folks, this is Dr. Don. Let's take a little bit of time here and talk about Module 7 and particularly the Lab 7 Remix. Module 7 is about proportions and we're looking at both single proportions and multiple proportions. And we're again going to use the Downey infer process, as I like to call it, to do our hypothesis test on the research questions that we need to evaluate as part of the remix. Downey's process has five steps, and it's really just a logical way of breaking apart what we're doing when we're running a hypothesis test. Step one is we calculate this, this test statistic, or delta as we like to call it. I think we're using the delta observed name for the variable that we create or the data object we create. And it's the, the thing that we're interested in, the test statistic. Uh, in the past, we've looked at difference in means, averages. Now we're going to look at proportions and the difference in proportions. And then we use simulation to create a world where this test statistic is null, is zero, and or whatever the value is that we're trying to test for. So we then take that, that null world and we place the sample statistic in it and we see how well it fits. And then by really simple arithmetic, we calculate how often it occurs in that null world. And that is a way that we approximate the p-value or the probability that you would see a test statistic as large or even larger in a world where there's no difference. And then we make a decision. Is the test statistic uh, statistically significant? Is its p-value greater than, or excuse me, less than our significance level alpha? And we generally use a 0.05. That's the process we've used in module five for inference module 6 for inference, and we're going to use it again in module 7 for inference. So I'm going to jump over here to the remix. Remember, I like to have my single window open, and I just have tabs. The only tabs that I'm going to need, um, you know, for working. I've got Rehearse 1, because we've got examples in Rehearse 1. I've got Rehearse 2. I've got the remix, and then I've got my Posit Cloud workspace open, okay? And let's just start here on the remix. We've got two questions that we've got to answer, two research questions. The first one is about a hospital ER manager, and she's been monitoring her patient's admissions because she uses that to plan her staffing. And she usually looks back at historical period that she felt was, was appropriate for the current period, and then she staffs on that, and then she reviews that every quarter to see how she's doing. And she's got this information that the prior quarter, she's got uh, four time blocks that she uses, morning, afternoon, evening, and night, if we do it in logical order. And she has this data from the last period, excuse me, the current week that she's wants to compare, compare to the last period in this clinic.csv file. And we want to know, is there sufficient evidence in this recent data to indicate that the proportions of emissions have changed and thus should she maybe rethink her staffing? That's question one. Question two, we've got a promoter and they're looking at trying to get the state to legalize online betting. This happened just recently in Florida, the state I live in. Um, in this particular example, they took an opinion poll and the data is in this gambling.csv file in your data folder. Is there a difference between the poll participants who are and are not gamblers on whether gambling should be allowed or not allowed online? So we've got two variables there. We want to see if they're related. Remember we did correlations back, uh, I think in lab five or lab six, and we're looking at, that was numerical variables to see if they related. Now we're trying to see if two categorical variables are related. Or we turn to flip that around and say, are they independent of one another? So that would give us the answer to the type of test. 
And of course, we've got the data file gambling CSV. I'm going to pause and jump over to Posit Cloud now. Okay, I'm in my Posit Cloud workspace, and I've got open the Remix uh, worksheet that we can use, and I like to use that uh, instead of referring back to the web page because I can copy and paste a little more easily. And then I've got the, the two questions there. We've got question one uh, template, and I've gone ahead and changed my name. It used to have student name there, and I've re renamed it with my first initial and last name, and that'll work fine. And then the question two, and I've done the same thing. I've gone ahead and renamed it with my first initial and last name. That helps your poor instructor out a lot. You wouldn't believe how many students still submit just the the uh, standard file names, and then when we're trying to grade and sort out which file goes with which, it really increases the student, the teacher frustration and the time it takes. So give them a break. Name your files. Okay. All right. So let's go here. Here's my, my remix. And one of the things I always recommend that students do when they're doing it this way, click on the visual tab and change it over to visual mode so it's a little bit easier to read and you don't get lost in the clutter of the code that's back there. You can always switch back if you want to go back and look at the code. The other thing I recommend you doing is click on this outline tab here. And what it does, it shows the headers and it's very similar to the, the web page where we've got the, uh, the, the table of contents on the left side. On the web page, it's the right side here, but enables you to jump a little more quickly to where you need to go. So I'm going to click here, and we're in question one. It's repeating that we said before, and there's the clinic.csv file. So I'm going to copy that file name because I'm going to need it. Control-C. Then I'm going to go over here to Q1. That's the worksheet I need to use. And always with these uh, things, we get familiar with the data. So we've got to load the data, first of all. And I'm going to paste in my data set name. I added that little bit of comment there. So there's the data set I'm going to use. Now I need to load a comma separated file. So I need the code for that. And uh, one way of getting that is to go back to the web page and go to the code chunks. Another way is to go over here into your data folder. I'm going to go down where we'll clinic CSV. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on import. I'm not going to import it because that just puts it into the environment and it doesn't create a code chunk. But I can get the code I need right there. So I'm going to copy it, Control C, and then I'm just going to cancel out of that. You don't want to import again. Just cancel out after you've copied it. Paste that code in. It, it edited the code for you when you do it that way. You can see we're, we're creating a clinic uh, data object that we're going to use, and we can load the data that way. Okay, and there it shows up at the environment and opens it so we can expect it. We've got 600 values. If we scroll down, we can see it's morning, afternoon, and scroll down to evening, and I'm sure the last one's going to be night. There we go. That's the four levels. The Q1 right there. And go down. The next thing we want to investigate the data. Now, we just did that visually but you could use the G-L-I-M-P-S-E function that I spell it right. And I want to put uh, clinic and that'll give you a way to inspect it again and it will give you the, the top there. We've just got one variable in there which is time, spell capital T-I-M-E and then we've got the, the various levels there. If you scroll down a bit, the next thing, uh, if you go back here to our example for the goodness of, of uh, fit, I go here, that's in Rehearse 2, and let's see, goodness of fit, load the packages, those are standard, read the data in, you could have gotten the CSV file there, and then we can do the exploratory data analysis, and again, it's just copying the code and then going back here into your um, your worksheet, pasting it in. One of the things I wanted, I'm not going to go through everything here because you should have gone through that. It's the same basic thing again. We do the, the inspection, we visualize the data, we find some summary statistics, you get the how-to code out of your example, 
paste it in the worksheet. And then we state the research problem again, just to make sure you, you know, have the information in hand. State your known alternative again. It's always a form of no difference, remember, something like that. State the significance level you're going to use. Then we start using the Downey method. First one is step five, calculate the observed statistic. And over here in the outline, you see I'm down here. I could use there to jump ahead. And I can go back into my Rehearse 2. And I'm going to go down here. We've already passed the visualize. Let's go on down. We're testing the hypothesis. And there's the code chunk. So I just copy this code chunk, go back into Posit Cloud, and paste it in. And then what do you have to do? You've got to edit it for your new data object. In other words, this example was using candies. We're going to change that for clinic. Okay. And then we've got to get the, the specify the variables that we're going to use. The, the uh, response variable here is going to be time. Remember, that's the only um, variable we had in here is time. It's a categorical variable. So I could change that to time. And then what you've got to do is to uh, create a point value. And that's this distribution that we had uh, previously. And it only has four levels. This example's got five levels. So we need to get rid of one. And what you need to do is, is click very carefully in front of the parentheses. And I'm just going to backspace. Whoops. There we go. Now I just got four uh, levels to the variable. And I need to change these names. And I need to change the proportions. And remember, you could, we're, since we're specifying it, we can leave it again morning, afternoon, evening, and night. But you would change coffee to morning, brown to um, morning, afternoon, yellow for evening, orange to night. Change those names out and then put in the right proportions. That's the, the old proportions. If we go back here to this remix, let me go up here. You can see the old proportions. The plan was morning 14%, 0.14, afternoon 29%, 0.29, evening 0.36%, 0.21. So you could take those, and one thing you might do, I'm just going to copy those and go back here into my posit cloud. And I'm going to put a pound sign there to make it a comment. And now I've got those values, and I can just write those in there and then cha change this appropriately. 0.14 and point, oops, 0.29 and so forth. Edit those out and again change this to morning, afternoon, evening, and night and keep the quotes because you're using the words. And then run the code. That's what you do just like you've done before. Just use the, the appropriate worksheet here for question one and question two and follow through. You've done it before. You can do it again. Hope this helps.